Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. I have been getting requests to upload video on electrokinetics, electroosmosis and also on corrosion. So I thought of making a series and this series will be consisting of electrokinetic fundamental phenomena, electroosmosis, electrophoresis and also corrosion. Apart from that, I will be uploading another series on cyclic voltammetry, how to characterize cyclic voltammetry and how to deal with several aspects, several phenomena that relates to cyclic voltammetry. So this series will be continuing and I hope it will be helpful for you. So today I will be talking about simple double layer formation and for, for, for studying the double layer formation for the time being, we will be taking a single one dimensional case wherein the left hand side will be a charged surface and in the bulk that means in the right hand side there will be electrolytic solution. So let us carry on and uh, we can take a one dimensional case initially and in this case we will be requiring electrostatics. So let us take electrostatics and we'll also need transport of diluted species this one so this two will be required then i go to study click on time dependent and yeah so initially i'll be taking a particular interval say the interval you can uh, the geometry we can put in say micrometer or something and we can take it say 0 0.01 micrometer that means 10, 0 0.1 micrometer is also fine yeah so I click on build selected so it gives me a space a one dimensional space which has a dimension of 0 0.1 micrometer now in the material for the time being I am not choosing anything I will be defining all the properties separately so when you define the properties by yourself you may also skip taking any material because ultimately we are solving differential equations and differential equations bear certain physical parameters if you are defining those physical parameters manually then no point of taking any material anyway I am going to the electrostatics. So electrostatics will be solved along this entire line. So by default, whatever is there, this is correct. So you can see this particular equation we are solving where E is equal to minus negative gradient of the potential. V is the potential and rho V is the charge density. So we'll have a charge density here. So I right click on electrostatic if you see the options there are multiple options uh, there is one option say ground so let us keep this part grounded let's say and let us choose one charge density there will be some option of space charge density yeah this one so I'll Oh, this is space charge density. I need charge density. Charge density, it will be in the form of, yeah, surface charge density. As this is in 1D, so the surface will become a point. So here we put a charge density. So charge density cannot be a constant value but for understanding today we'll be putting a random value say 0 0.01 is my charge density that may be a random value because I have not checked the actual physical value so this 0 0.01 may be entirely different from the real value so don't take this 0 0.01 seriously so charge density we have defined, we have defined the ground. Let us go to the charge conservation. So in the charge conservation, we are having 
this equation again I'm telling this is the rho V this is the charge density which is defined in this particular bulk solution now the thing is in this bulk we have basically the solution which will be defined by this species transport but whatever ions will be there that ions will be contributing to a surf to a space charge density which is here and how exactly we will calculate the space charge density or rho v from this transport of diluted species that i'll be going to discuss today in detail so initially let us consider in this solution space that is on that line we have an electrolyte say a single mono electronic electrolyte that means suppose i have a low concentration of nacl solution so i have two species because when you put on nacl into water what will happen it will give you sodium plus ions and the chloride minus chloride ions so we'll have two species one is sodium plus and the other is your chloride so what i need to do here is i need to go to the dependent variables initially instead of one i need to define two species because i'll be solving for two species say this is c1 let us define it c1 and the other one is c2 say c1 is the positive one that means the cation and c2 is a negative one that means the anion now what we need to define here we need to define say we need to define a concentration and a no flux condition so this particular surface is basically a wall a charged wall so through the charged wall as there is no porosity on the on the on the on the it is assumed that there is no porosity on the surface of the electrode so concentration or ions cannot penetrate through this part and that's why this will be kept at no flux condition now what happens on the other end so on the other end we will be assuming the concentration will be constant now you can ask me why should i take a constant concentration on the other end the idea is whenever electrical double layer formation takes place that phenomena goes on in the near vicinity of the electrode and sometimes it is understood that the thickness of the double layer remains in few nanometers sometimes it is 2 nanometers 3 nanometers or 10 nanometers so this is very confined and beyond the electrical double layer basically there are electro neutrality is maintained as there is a maintained electro neutrality in the bulk solution we can assume that at a distant location the concentration is constant and that is why we will be putting a constant value say this concentration is one say 0 0.001 both the concentration we assume 0 0.001 so we have defined the boundary conditions one no flux condition is defined one constant concentration condition is defined now we need to define the properties because there are ions ions will have properties so let us define the properties before we define the property we should look at the equation so let us go to the transport of diluted species so in this case we will be switching on the migration under electric field term because in electrical double layer formation this term is very important you cannot neglect the migration under electric field term because whenever there is an electric field the ions will be migrated towards the oppositely charged electrode and this migration will be will be important because it may it may lead to a finite velocity of the ions and that velocity you cannot neglect that is why you need to add this particular expression now we go to the properties the transport properties again in the transport property it is asking for the velocity so basically we don't have any external flow so we can keep it zero for the time being automatically the diffusion coefficients have been taken like this but in general cations and anions may have different 
diffusivities let us consider the cations have a higher diffusivity say 5 e minus 9 and say the other one remains at 1 so it is asking for the electric potential so the electric potential will come from here so we put here the electric potential physics so it when we do that it will understand that it has to take the potential value from this solution and then it will solve for the species transport equation so most of the things are defined we have defined all the physical parameters we have defined where from the electric potential has to come in the transport of diluted species again why do we need electric field because we have added, added a term that is migration under electric field now these things are done now the most important thing is still now we have not talked about the space charge density where from it would come in basically it comes from the Poisson Nans Planck equation PNP equation so PNP equation is basically defined by this multi physics so this multi physics is space charge density coupling we also need to couple the potential because this potential and the transport of dilated species are coupled because we have added that migration under electric field term. Now the space charge density will be applicable here. Similarly, potential coupling will also be applicable here. So we have now let us look at the equation. So this is what the equation I was talking about. This is nothing but the Poisson Nans Planck expression wherein the space charge density is equal to f where f is the faraday constant summation of z i into c i where z i is the charge of the cation or anion and c i is the is the concentration of cations and anions so when we need to also define the charges so when i am talking about the charges so this C1 is positive, so this is plus 1 and the anion has negative charge, so I put minus 1. So I guess all the things are now perfectly defined. Let me go ahead with the meshing. It's not a good mesh. Let me go ahead with user defined. Or let me change the normal to extra fine not good yet let me go to extremely fine this is okay for the calculation purpose not okay exactly but still we can go ahead for the learning purpose so now let me just click on compute i hope it would run the results might be little bit different so this is asking for epsilon r so okay uh, the epsilon r has not been defined that's why it's, it is asking for that so let us define it so epsilon r might be somewhere here because in this equation we have epsilon charge conservation let me see yeah this is defined from material but we have we don't have any material so we have to make it user defined say any random value we put for the time being say 20 it's not accurate but still again i click on compute let's see if it runs now yeah it's running so you can see it has solved for the potential it is also it has also solved for the concentration gradient so let me put for the last time step so that you can realize so this is c1 and this is c2 so what basically happened is c1 has very low concentration near to the electrode because we have added positive charge density here if you remember the surface charge density i have added positive so positive electrode will will repel the positive ions so the I, uh, the positive ions will not be there near to the ele electrode and that's why it has a very low value but in in for the case of the negative ions it will be attracted towards the electrode due to this transport under electric field 
and that's why you have a higher concentration of C2 uh, if you see this has a higher concentration of C2 near the electrode it has also solved for the C1 and C2 separately how exactly the concentration is distributed electric field potential looks like this so it has a higher value at the very beginning and as you go away it goes down and down and reaches to zero so if we put the last time then we will see yeah this is the original solution which we have solved so this is nothing but the solution of electrical double layer but as I have mentioned I have not used the appropriate values for this simulation so the solution values might be different from the originality but still for the learning purpose it was sufficient I hope this video has helped you if so I will request you to subscribe to our channel share our videos so that I get more motivation to upload videos